U.S. equities finished solidly higher in the wake of a spate of losses that has brought about a six-week losing streak for the S&P 500. The moves came despite a flurry of headwinds, notably the Fed's aggressive tightening campaign to combat persistently high inflation, re-emphasized by Fed Chair Jerome Powell in a live-streamed interview with the Wall Street Journal. A mostly upbeat economic calendar appeared to aid sentiment as retail sales, industrial production, capacity utilization, and business inventories all rose, but home builder sentiment fell to its lowest level in the US in nearly two years amid rising prices and mortgage rates. In equity news, Dow member Home Depot moved higher after posting strong earnings, while fellow Dow component Walmart lost ground after f- falling short on estimates. And the ongoing Twitter saga was in focus after Elon Musk said the deal remains on hold. We're going to cover that very soon. Treasuries were lower, pushing yields higher, and the US dollar cooled somewhat after a recent run up to 20 year highs. Crude oil prices ended lower in choppy action, while gold was little changed. Europe was higher and Asia finished in the green, following some positive real-time COVID data. Okay, so uh, as it concerns uh, Tesla, it says uh, according to Seeking Alpha, uh, Twitter Tesla downturn is merely the start. And uh, the folks at Bloomberg are saying that um, they have it that uh, there's no greater divide than the Tesla stock gap. Analysts price targets range from $250 to $1,620 a share. Its shares have climbed climbed more than 22,000% since its 2010 IPO. Okay, so... What do we have here? Let's see. Okay, let's return to Seeking Alpha. Here we can see this is the, uh, the, the piece says um, Tesla stock has suffered as a result of Elon Musk's planned Twitter acquisition and the potential for stock sales. Tesla has also been caught up with the overall tech sell-off, which is true. There's also there's a cost to be viewed as a tech company. Yeah, and um, yes, Tesla is paying that uh, price. Tesla has the high that has the risk of being popular among popular tech workers which have uh, suffered more heavily than other market workers and they see Tesla as grossly overvalued and more likely to underperform from the market downturn and the author uh, did much okay forget about that you know so um Okay, Tesla stock has suffered recently with the company's market cap dropping less than $900 billion after pressure from Elon Musk's uh, Twitter investment and potential stock sales. Investors might be fooled into thinking that this short-term downturn from the stock sales represents an investment opportunity. However, as we'll see, Tesla still remains significantly overvalued. Okay, so those are pretty much some fundamentals they are talking about over there. So, um, yes, there's some piece here. I think um, here um, they're saying um, I think here Elon Musk is saying, let's see, something about um,
let's see. Okay. It says here Twitter accounts Twitter's account of account of deal shows must sign in without asking for more info. So they're saying that Twitter uh, published its account on Tuesday, that's today, the May the 17th, of its uh, deal negotiations with Elon Musk, showing he opted out of uh, asking questions about the social media company's business. He has now cited in uh, de he has now cited in declaring the 44 billion dollar acquisition is on hold. Okay, so. So they're saying that um, he opted out of asking questions about the social media company's business, okay, which he is he is now citing and declaring the forty-four billion dollar acquisition is on hold. Okay, the company, so the account published in Twitter's uh, proxy statement that outlines what shareholders need to know to vote on the deal, paints a picture of Musk in a rush to clinch a deal, which uh, his best and final with his uh, best and final offer. So Musk negotiated uh, the Twitter deal over the weekend of April 23rd and April 24th without carrying out any due diligence, the proxy statement says. Um, since signing the deal on April 25th, Musk has questioned the accuracy of Twitter's public filings about spam accounts representing less than 5% of its user base, claiming they must be at least 20%. This is despite uh, Twitter stating in its uh, filing that the numbers could be higher than its estimates. Independent researchers have uh, projected that 9 to 15% of the millions of Twitter profiles are bots. Uh, Musk tweeted on uh, Tuesday that uh, Twitter, Twitter chief executive Parag, Parag Agrawal has refused to show proof for his company's estimate and that the deal cannot move forward until until he does. Twitter's uh, proxy statement shows that in the run-up to the deal, Musk, Musk made no effort to get information about the issue. Mr. Musk did not ask to enter into a confidentiality agreement or seek from Twitter any non-public info regarding Twitter. Twitter said in a proxy statement, the proxy statement means no makes no mention of uh, threats Musk has uh, tweeted about not going ahead with a deal if he does not uh, get to the bottom of how uh, spam accounts are on the platform. Twitter investors appeared convinced that a deal at the agreed price was now out of the question. Twitter shares were trading around $37.55 today, this afternoon. As a discount, or rather, I mean, a discount of more than 30% to the $54.2 per share deal price, Musk suggested for the first time on Monday at the Prince at the Prince uh, at the conference in Miami that the deal could be done at a lower price without specifying what could what could be. He has yet to inform Twitter that he wants to re renegotiate the deal. Legal experts have said that Twisk would. Uh, sorry i've said musk will likely lose in court if he tried to walk away from the deal yes that's likely the case he has already uh put himself in that so trying to walk away from it is going to cost him a lot um, but they say that the litigation would likely be protracted and cast uncertainty over twitter's business even companies that have uh, prevailed in court over their acquirers have ended up negotiating financial settlements Musk is contractu contractually obligated to pay $1 billion breakup fee if he does not complete the deal, but Twitter can sue for specific performance to force Musk to complete a deal and obtain a settlement from him as a result. And Lipton, a professor at uh, Tulane University Law School, said the fact that Musk had not asked Twitter for information before signing the deal meant he would now have to show that the company's public filings were wrong and posted significant long-term financial issues a high legal bar. Twitter has long said this has long said this our estimate of spam 
this is our estimate of spam but we might be wrong so it's not clear that they said anything false Lipson said commitment committed to deal to the deal Twitter said on Tuesday which is today it remained uh, committed to the deal at the agreed price and expected it to be completed in 2022 the company said in a proxy statement that Musk expects expressed his interest in joining its board or taking it private on March 26th this will indicate that Musk mischaracterized his uh, stake of more than 99% in Twitter as uh, passive when he revealed in a regulatory, regulatory filed on, on the 4th of April, he subsequently clarified it was an active stake. Representatives of Musk did not respond to the request for comment. Musk also told Twitter that he contemplated start, starting a competitor according to the proxy statement. Okay, uh, Twitter's CEO is entitled to a $60.2 million golden parachute if the deal closes, while the company's chief financial officer, Ned Siegel, would get $46.4 million. The proxy shows Twitter's top lawyer, um, Vijaya Gade, would also would be paid uh, $30 million. Goldman Sachs, Goldman, Stark, Goldman, Goldman Sachs stands to be paid $65 million for advising Twitter once the deal is completed. Having already paid, having already been paid $50 million, the proxy statement shows. Another Twitter advisor, JP Morgan uh, Chase, uh, stands to be paid $48 million once the deal closes, having already been paid $5 million for its uh, fairness opinion to the company. Okay, so um, as it concerns um, Tesla, okay, this is, let's return to Tesla and see. Uh, there are some in interesting things there concerning Tesla. So, um, market participants, uh, some experts are speculating. Okay, we can always uh, we can always get it from here. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, so the, some experts are speculating or rather uh, projecting that um, Tesla might drop to $684. $684 is uh, somewhere around here. $684. Somewhere here. Somewhere here. So the last time it was at this sort of level was um, all the way back in uh, the summer of last year. Six hundred eighty-four dollars, and um, if it falls, if it falls through, if it falls below that six hundred eighty-four dollars, then it, it's likely to fall further towards uh, five hundred eighty-one and five hundred eighty dollars. You know. So that's the projection for um, Tesla. So let let's even um, draw a Fibonacci grid from. Um, Okay, let's use use uh, this high of um, this high of uh, what is it called? How much was that? One thousand two hundred thirty-two. This was as of uh, last year. So we have the projections. So we just pin it at uh, 601. So with that um, $684 projection lies below its 24% uh, uh, retracement level on based on what we have plotted here. Okay, so um, See what you make of all of these things concerning Tesla and uh, Twitter. And um, thank you very much for watching this video.